So the insanity is finally over. The one of one ring card was pulled. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt Caster Mage, and if you do enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It really gets these out into the algorithm and helps my channel grow. I really would appreciate that. The one of one ring, one of the most insane things that ever happened to Magic Gathering. I think that this era is gonna go down in history. I think as long as they don't ever do a one of one serialized card ever again, hopefully this, is, this doesn't come like a feature, uh, just a, something specific to this set because it makes sense for the one of one ring, the precious ring. It actually did have a flavor feel when it comes to any other IPs. I think Lord of the Rings probably is one of the closest and most um, beloved franchises that could actually tie well with Magic the Gathering. So when they actually announced that they were going to do a crossover with Lord of the Rings, and I actually thought it was a pretty good idea. Now, the way they executed it was a little bit crazy, but nonetheless, it did get a lot of eyeballs on Magic the Gathering. It got a lot of attention, and it looks like this set is gonna go down in history as the most successful Magic the Gathering set of all time. Now, I will say, I'm a little bit surprised at how fast the ring was pulled. I speculated it could be pretty early on, but I thought just for the, the sake of the boxes and their prices that it might have been pulled a little bit later. Maybe it was like sent in a, the second distribution batch by Wizards of the Coast. I didn't think it would be like in the first run, but it looks like it was. So uh, that I have to say kind of took me off guard. Now, when it comes to the collector booster boxes, the prices are already going down as of the recording of this video. The boxes have went down by at least 50 to $60 already for the collector boxes. So whether they're gonna go down even further from there, I'd like to have a discussion about that down below in the comment section. I think they are gonna go down a bit more. Now, there was a lot of speculation before about them maybe potentially putting the one of one ring in a bundle, which is gonna be like the gift bundle that comes with the extra collector pack in there. That was a lot of speculation, but it doesn't look like that was the case, at least from what I'm hearing now. David Adams actually put out a post. That's how I found out about it. That's how a lot of people found out about it. And they said the hunt is over, the search is over, the one of one ring was finally found and they're gonna release more details later on. When you see this video, it's possible that the details are actually up. I, as of the recording of this video, don't have those specific details. I just wanted to film something just to give my two cents on the matter and also talk about the card prices in the set potentially going down a lot after this, especially the, the box prices for sealed collector booster packs and booster boxes. Now, I have a feeling that it was something, someone maybe close to Damon Adams. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but they did also put out a massive bounty and they were like the first person to mention it. So either it was sent to them privately, like someone sent a video of it privately to them, say, hey, we pulled it and uh, we would like this bounty now. Can we go collect our money? And then they said, okay, perfect, but they didn't release the video yet. Now it's it's bizarre because if, if this was pulled on camera and maybe it was, you'd expect it to be on the internet already. You'd expect it to be, you know, uploaded by the person who opened the pack because not only are you going to get a ton of views from that you're going to get a lot of eyeballs especially if you're a game store you're going to get you're going to get a huge amount of attention and maybe even publicity from that right so uh the fact that there's no video up online uh i thought that would be the first way people are going to find out about this but instead we're getting like news sources and stores saying, hey, it's been found, but we'll give you more details. I thought that was a little bit interesting. Um, so maybe it wasn't actually pulled on camera, which I think is a bit of a, a crappy situation because I think everyone was really hoping that this would have been pulled on camera. It's like an epic moment captured in history. Uh, unfortunately, it might not be the case. We don't know for sure yet, but if it was pulled on camera, then um, I'm, I don't know why they didn't just upload the video and they, they, I guess they sent private pictures to David Adams. I don't, to me, that is just a bit bizarre. Now, when it comes to the prices, uh, a lot of the collector boosters and pet booster boxes are gonna continue to go down, I believe. Uh, you know, where will that limit go? I don't think it's gonna go uh, exceptionally low. Now, you have to remember, the one of one ring is not the only serialized card in this set. They had other ones, like the other soul rings for the elves, humans, and dwarves. So those are probably going to 
at least sustain some of the prices of these booster boxes. And there's also some good cards in there that people want for, for their decks as well. You know, the one of one ring is, is not just the only desirable card in this. The one ring itself, just the regular one ring is actually a really good card used in modern right now. It's a very powerful card and it's one of the reasons why the bundles now are so expensive, right? Because you get that along with the three other cards, which is Sam, Frodo, and Golem. And uh, those boxes now are close to $100 at some LGS's because the one of one ring itself is about a 40 to $60 card depending on where you're gonna buy it. So nonetheless, crazy what's happening in the world of Magic the Gathering right now. I have to say, I'm still in shock that it was pulled this early on. I was really expecting it to be like maybe a month down the line or maybe like mid-summer or something like that. It's just, who knows? It, we were going to be uh, heading into a very interesting a uh, few weeks after this i have to say especially for the market river videos the prices of some of these cards i imagine are going to uh really go down in price and uh, it's gonna be very interesting but nonetheless what a crazy end to a chapter where we saw lots of people from other tcgs like pokey rev actually open up magic the gathering product i never thought i'd ever see that Really got a lot of eyeballs into the game. Will definitely be one of the most historic sets in Magic the Gathering's history. Will it actually obtain real fans who will still continue to play Magic the Gathering or were they just in this for the short run and now they're gonna go back to their other TCGs or back to whatever games they prefer. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Use promo code MattCaster for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MattCaster at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount.